Hello everyone, Alex Allwright is here and I am very excited to show you new features of Allwright Rig Beta 1.2. After you open the archive, you need to go to your engines folder and if you're going to make games with Allwright Rig, you need to copy Allwright Rig to your Epic Games engines folder, engine, plugins, runtime folder. Let's launch the editor. I will create new empty project. To see plugins content, enable show plugins content. Now if you go to alright rig content, you can find this test map here. If you play this level, you're gonna see some weird animation here. However, now you can build games with alright rig. Just make sure that build configuration is set to the shipping mode. Using this level, I made a simple game where you can interact with rig controllers. You can move them, you can rotate them, you can interact with character rig. Ok, let's go back to the editor. Now you can move and scale all rig controllers except facial controllers. Ok, nodes now can solve stretching, so you can stretch character limbs. You can animate FKIK blending using this new FKIK control. You can also enable or disable stretching. Ok, let's create a new level. If you go to Window, Alright Tools, you can open Alright Rig Property Editor. Now you can use this window to work with Alright Rig. At first I would like to introduce you to the Presets menu, where you can save and load all rig settings. If you go back to Alright Rig folder, you can find this Rig Presets folder here. If you go there, you can find here Kite Rig and Mike Summer Rig Presets. You just need to go to your project, to Saves folder, and to copy Save Games folder there. Now you can add, for example, Mike Summer character to the scene. Type Mike Summer Rig here. Load Rig settings and create rig for the character. Rig is ready to use. Now I would like to show you how to rig this character from scratch. Let's create a new scene. I will create new folder under content folder and drop my fbx character here. In the import options I just need to make sure that import morph targets is enabled. To work with facial animation, you need eyes and eyelid bones. I showed how to stop eyes and eyelids in the video about Alright Rig Beta 1.1. Link is below. Now, in order to retarget animation blueprint, you need to set up bones in Retarget Manager. This character was made in Adobe Fuse, skinned in my Xamo website, and downloaded for Unreal Engine. So, bone names match perfectly. However, don't forget to check advanced bones. Now you can retarget any animation blueprint from all right rig content to your character. Let's use kite rig anim for example. I'm gonna choose my police girl skeleton and hit retarget. I will name it police girl rig anim. Ok, let's drop our character to the scene and open Alright Rig Editor. Now I need to set anim class to my new Police Girl Rig Anim and hit Rig. Character is ready to use now. You can enable or disable fingers if you want. Ok, let's open Create Settings. You don't need to change base bones or extra bones. Pole vector simple is used when your character has absolutely straight arms or legs. There is no way to find pole vector location if your character limbs are absolutely straight or even bended in wrong direction. So you can use pole vector simple mode, which just add constraint offset to the middle bone location of the limb. Here you can specify color, shape and scale of your controllers. 
Using custom controllers array, you can create controller for any bone in your character. Let's drop kite mesh here for a second. I will open another instance of property editor here and set kite rig as a preset. Now we can create kite rig. I see that we have custom controller for jaw here. Ok, now I will add member to custom controllers array. Here you need to specify the bone name. Let's say I want to create a custom controller for a backpack. Now I need to look for a bone name in kite skeleton. It's backpack top. I will set some color for my controller, for example green. Size will be 0.5. For the shape I will choose the cube shape. Here I need to specify parent controller for my controller. To figure out what it will be, let's create the rig. Ok, now we have our custom controller, but it is not parented to the spine. Let's say we need to parent these controllers to pelvis body FK. Just copy and paste it. Delete rig. Create rig. And now we have our controller parented to the body FK. Ok, I will delete Kai trick and skeletal mesh as well. Now we need to set face controllers. Here I need to specify eye and eyelid bone names. I will use police girl skeleton as a reference. Let's hit rig. And now we have our controllers for eyes. Let's save this preset as police girl. Now let's add some morph controllers. You can add any amount of morph controllers for your morph targets. At first you need to specify the name of your controller. Let's say it will be left lip. I will set controller location at 2.5 on X axis and minus 3 on Z axis. I will set color to blue and controller size to 0.1. Let's say it will have a cube shape. Now we need to specify morph target names for this controller. We can move our controller on X and Z axis. So here we need to specify what morph targets will our controller activate when we will move it on positive X, negative X, positive Z and negative Z axis. I need to open Persona Editor to find them. Ok, so we have mid mouse left, mouse narrow left, smile left and thrown left. Controller property is filled during creation, so we don't need to touch it. Ok, let's create the rig. And now we have our mouth controller. Let's check it. Ok, now I will set morph controllers for other morph targets. For nose, for example, I have only one morph target for nose scrunch. So I will just set it to positive Z axis, which is element number 2. Ok, now we have all our controllers, so let's save the rig settings. Let's create the rig and check.
You can also add 4, 5, 6 and 7 morph target names if there are few geometry shapes that share one morph deformation. I'm gonna delete this rig and let's add kite here. For example, Kite Boy has few morph targets for face geometry and for eyebrows geometry. Let's load Kite preset. And let's find the eyebrow, for example, left eyebrow. So, when I move my controller, it sets morph target weights for the head mesh shape and the eyebrows mesh shape as well. You can also add 8, 9, 10. Okay. If you need to bake animation to the rig, you need to set sequencer to bake to, animation as set to bake from, start frame, end frame, frames per second and hit Bake to Rig button. Now you can edit rig animation using Level Sequencer. Facial animation can be baked to the rig as well. If Skeletal Mesh has already animation, you don't need to set animation in anim to bake property. You can just hit bake to rig button. After editing, you can bake your animation back to animation sequence. You can also check delete rig to delete current rig and update source to update skeletal mesh actor after baking and hit bake to anima set now we have updated skeletal mesh animation in our level let's create rig you can also Select all controllers in the viewport, for example, to reset all of them. And you can also select any controller and hit Snap FK IK to set all IK and FK controllers to the current bones position. So that's it. This is the most features of new Alright Rig Beta 1.2. As always, I will be happy to gather your feedback in the Unreal Engine forum thread and please place your votes on the features you'd most like to see in my roadmap. Links below. I hope you will enjoy this release, have fun and thanks for watching.